Today, we are going to be looking into metallic crystal structures, the parameters used to describe crystal structures, and how the atomic packing factor of a crystal structure is derived. Crystal structures are the way atoms are arranged. Each of these spheres here represents an atom. Crystal structures are often looked at in unit cells to determine unique intrinsic properties. This here is a metallic crystal structure of a body-centered cubic, also known as BCC. It is one example of an arrangement of atoms that makes up a crystal structure. Let's adjust that. There are many different arrangements of these systems that make up crystal structures. Here are a few examples. Today, we're going to be looking into the three more common crystal structures, BCC, body centered cubic, FCC, face centered cubic, and HCP, hexagonal closed packed. There are four key measures looked at when defining a crystal structure. The N value, the coordination number, the A value, and the atomic packing factor. What is the N value? The N value represents the total number of atoms in a unit cell. If we look at this BCC unit cell, we can see that there is an eighth atom in each of the eight corners. Also, a whole atom in the middle. If we add up all these, one eighth times eight, and one in the center, we get two. That is our N value. The N value for a BCC crystal structure is equal to two. The next parameter we are looking at is the coordination number. This is the number of atoms in contact with each atom within a crystal structure. Looking at the single atom in the center of a BCC cell, we can see that it is touching eight other atoms, one in each of the corners. This makes the coordination number for a BCC crystal structure equal to eight. For a unit cell, the A value is going to be the length of one side. Because we are looking at a cube, all the sides are equal, therefore we can measure any of the sides to achieve the A value. This value is typically represented in nanometers. Atomic packing factor. APF is how efficiently atoms are packed together. Pertaining to unit cells, it is the fraction of the cell that is filled with atoms. In its simplest form, the equation for APF, atomic packing factor, is equal to the volume of atoms in a unit cell divided by the volume of the unit cell itself. Here, we are going to be deriving the atomic packing factor for a BCC unit cell. From this image, we can see the A value, the length of a side for a unit cell, is equal to 4R over square root of 3, where the R is the radius of an atom. We can also determine the N value, the number of atoms in a unit cell. We have an eighth in each corner, with eight corners, and a whole atom in the middle. Summing these up gives us two atoms, making our N value for this BCC equal to 2. We can see that our volume of a sphere is equal to 4 pi divided by 3 times r cubed. From this, we can calculate the volume of atoms in a unit cell. To do that, we simply multiply the volume of a sphere, 4 pi divided by 3 times r cubed, by the n value, which is equal to 2. We can also calculate the volume of a unit cell. To do this, we cube our a value, giving us 4r over square root of 3 cubed the equation for atomic packing factor is the volume of atoms in unit cell divided by volume of unit cell. Both values we have already calculated. This gives us 4 pi over 3 cubed times r cubed times 2, all divided by 4r divided by square root of 3 cubed. Once this value is simplified, the r's cancel out, and we get the atomic packing factor of 0.68. This means that 68% of the unit cell is filled with atoms.